Hey folks, how are you guys doing? Hope you're all having a great Tuesday. Today is, well today's Monday, but today is the start of a new something here in the shop. I've been working on this project, well, this project for so long that this has been only the only thing on the agenda for a while. I'm ready to move on to something else. So this project turned out great. I'm very happy with it. I'm pleased with it. I'm very excited about it. I'm proud of it. It's just uh, all those superlatives. Um, it turned out to be probably my favorite project I've ever made. And my wife likes it too. So <laughs> speaking of my wife likes it, there's a funny story there. Uh, I was getting all of the, it was the day I got all of the case dovetails done. And I did a, the first assembly of it and had it sitting on the, uh, the workbench and I did a little bit of a cleanup. And as I was doing the cleanup, my wife came home from work. Normally when she comes home from work and I'm in the shop, she just opens the door and we, we talk a little bit as I finish things up before going inside the house. And I was I was super pumped about that that uh, that pro the the completing that process in the project, and it, it the dovetails looked great. You know, of course, there's no finish on the 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 hickory. I could see what it was gonna look like with finish on it, but you know, she's not into woodworking at all. So um, anyway, I was asking her about the project. What do you, what do you think of this box? I was excited. What do, what do you think of it? And she's like, yeah, yeah, okay, that's cool. And then went on talking about something else. I was like, okay. So a couple minutes later, I, I shifted the conversation back to the box. <clears throat> and I said, so what are you thinking about the box? Isn't this awesome? Isn't it cool? Look. And she said, yeah, it's just an ugly box. And then went back to talking about her own, uh, whatever it was. And I was like, it's just an ugly box. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. My wife does not care one bit whatsoever about the project in process. She is appreciative and really enjoys the completed projects, but she couldn't give a crap about woodworking, which is totally fine. Um, so uh, when, we, when I got the dining table done, she really, really likes it. Uh, when I got this done, I put it on her bookcase and come to find out she really, really likes it as well and wants some other items to be uh, made to match this. So uh, that's, that's cool for me, but I'm, I'm gonna give her a hard time about uh, the ugly box. So uh, that, anyway, that, that turned out great. Uh, I've got a lot of good feedback on the instructional course. Thank you very much for that. A lot of good feedback on the YouTube edit for it. Thank you very much for that. And a lot of hate for the song that I chose in the video, which is completely understood. Uh, the, that song is the same song that I used in my doghouse video that I made in October of 2014. And, um, it's, it's, it's just got a catchy beat and a catchy tune that's easy to synchronize anything to it, you know? So, <clears throat> I got really sick of that song, too, because I started the edit for it on Friday morning about 7.30-ish in the morning, right when my wife left for work. And I did not complete it until about 9 o'clock that night. So, it was, it was a solid, solid 13 hours or so of listening to that same song over and over over and over and I wanted to pull my hair out and about halfway through I wanted to scrap it and start over with something else but I already had too much time and effort invested into that particular edit so I just finished it and whew, I completely understand why people hate that song after a little while uh, but I promise you I listened to it way more than than anybody who hated listening to it one time on that video um, anyway uh, it turned out all right and uh, the end result is done so time to move on with to time to move on to something else. Um, before I talk about what I'm working on this week, I had a pleasant surprise. Uh, you guys remember Tony Rollo Hillview uh, underscore WM on Instagram? Uh, I made I didn't make I I bought one of the planes that he made. This is an infill block plane, and I want it to get I don't know if tarnish is the right word. I want it to age, the brass to age. I don't want this to be like super polished and shiny the way it was when I first got it. I want it to look nice and used and, and, and antique without any of the rust, of course. And it's starting to starting to look that way. It's starting to have some use look on it. Uh, anyway, I, I, I very much enjoy using this. It's my best hand plane that I have. Uh, well, anyway, he, he surprised me with a very unexpected gift that is just amazing so if you follow him, him on instagram you'll see he's made some of these squares and he sent me one with my logo on it and uh completely unexpected and 
amazingly awesome. This is uh, this is so cool. Thank you very much for this, Tony. I haven't sent you a formal thank you or anything just yet, so hopefully you watch this. Um, but thank you very much. This is this is so cool. It's a it's a huge upgrade from my my Swanson Pittsburgh Frankenstein square. So that was like I said a pleasant surprise. Totally totally wasn't expecting that. Thank you for it. This week I'm making a I'd like to make another uh crosscut sled for the table saw. I've already got one, but I want to use the one that I currently have to designate for dados and then make something with a flip stop. I've wanted a flip stop on my ooh crosscut sled for a while, but just haven't gotten around to making anything extra because what I had works. Well, I've also had this, um, you guys remember, you know, Shop Built channel on YouTube, Shop Built? Subscribe to uh, Shop Built if you haven't already done so. Uh, but anyway, I've got a flip stop from him uh, with my logo on it, and I want to incorporate it on a sled, uh, or on a crosscut sled for the table saw. So I'd like to get that done this week. I've also got a couple of things for my second channel planned that I want to get done and um, schedule out for the next week or two because I really don't want to have a huge lapse in content like I did while I was making this this uh, dovetail box course. That was really annoying for me, uh, not having anything to be published and a lot of people sending me emails and such asking what's going on and uh, I appreciate that as well. Uh, it's just, oh, I don't want to do that again if possible. So I want to schedule some other stuff. And then next week, uh, Guy Dunlap from Guy's Woodshop, uh, oh, I'm wearing a shirt. Guy's Woodshop. Check out Guy's Woodshop on YouTube and subscribe to him as well. Anyway, crazy talented woodworker. Um, he is coming down, and we're going to make uh, we're going to do we're going to make a table, but we're also going to do a lot of inlay and veneer work. Um, I don't have any formal training in woodworking. The only formal formal training I have is in high school. No, it was eighth grade, so junior high. I remember making a napkin holder. In shop class and the only thing I remember about it is two things number one using a drill press for a I had a rectangle and I drilled some holes for dowels for a napkin holder that's the only part of of a power tool I remember ever using and then I also cut my finger to the bone twice with a coping saw learned how not to do something right in that class um, and then saw blood and passed out so those are the only two memories I have from shop class that's the only formal training that I have I guess you could call it formal uh, so I'm very interested to learn as much as I can from Guy in, in this particular area, veneering and inlay. Uh, so I'm going to try and soak up as much as I can uh, while he's here and then also be able to present that information uh, through my website and to all of you. So that's upcoming. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, speaking of my website, I changed up a few things, most notably my email newsletter. So if you haven't already done so, go to my website and in the sidebar, subscribe to my email newsletter. And I'm trying to do a better job at sending targeted information to all of those who are subscribed. Information that they are interested in and not the stuff that they are not interested in. And you'll find out about that if you subscribe to my email newsletter. And other than that... Other than that, I don't have anything else to talk about. I've hit everything on my bulleted list, so you guys take care. Have a great day. Be productive, and I'll talk to you next time.